gonna work as a tow truck driver here today in Brookhaven. So let's gonna get started. Let's gonna jump into the tow truck and we should probably go ahead and equip the tow truck job just so people can actually call me. Perfect. Okay, we got the tow truck job and I got my tow truck and dude, I'm already getting a call. Okay, let's go ahead over to the caller and see what's going on. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. And dude, I'm actually kind of excited for today and yo, I see a burning car over there, I think. Uh oh, well, look I do got my fire extinguisher on me. So yeah, I was kind of prepared for burning vehicles today. <laughs> Let's go, dude. And dude, is this a burning Lamborghini? Oh man, it's a cop car. Yo, all right. I was gonna get our tow truck parked right up here. And we just gotta assess the situation first. Let's go ahead and chat with Mr. Officer, see what's going on. You better fix my car quick or else I'll arrest you. What? Arrest me? Why, dude? I'm just trying to help. Holy cow, dude. Okay, so the officer is obviously pretty mad. Not not sure why he's mad at me, but I guess I'm just kind of like unlucky there. Let's go to put out some cone stone uh, just so we can kind of like secure the area. Nice. And we also need a little sign here. So let's gonna place a sign. It's gonna say work area ahead. I think that's good enough. Or maybe we should get another one. There we go. Please slow down. That should be good enough. All right. We got the cone out. We got the sign out. Now we just gotta get the truck moved correctly. So I guess we can just go to park the truck right behind the police car right here. And let's go ahead and get it backed all the way up. And hopefully the car is actually able to get on the uh, flatbed. I don't know, dude. We're missing a few wheels, to be honest. So, yeah, we're just gonna try and get it on the back. And, dude, it's still burning. The car is still burning. Yeah, I completely forgot, dude. I actually gotta put out the car fire. Yo, dude, maybe my tow truck will catch on fire. That would have been terrible. Okay, well, luckily the car fire is out now. Let's just go ahead and get the flatbed up. Perfect. And now it's locked on. The green means it's locked on. And we can go ahead and collect all the props. And boom, dude, let's go ahead and get this uh, car transported over to the mechanic shop. And bro, what a start, man. And look at that. The police officer is sitting right beside me. Oh, man. It looks kind of like suspicious, man. Hopefully, he won't arrest me. Hopefully, I will actually do this mission in the, the correct time. He said, if I didn't do it quickly, I will get arrested. And that's like kind of, yeah, that's kind of shady, bro. Aren't you supposed to be like a nice cop, dude? I don't know, man. Maybe it's like a bad apple. Anyways, I was going to get his police cruiser onto the lift right here. And we got to get the lift lift it up. Perfect. Let's gonna grab some tools from the toolbox. So it seems like we got a couple of wheels missing and the engine is still smoking. So we got a lot of work to do. Let's gonna start with the engine though. The engine is in the back in these fancy sports cars. It's gonna get that fixed up. Awesome. And we gotta grab a couple of tires from the tire rack here because there's a couple of tires we are missing. There we go. Let's gonna hammer that in place. Perfect. Let's gonna grab yet another tire and then we should be good, dude. So there we go. Put that in place. Let's gonna hammer it in nice and let's gonna see i think it should be finished okay dude the car basically looks brand new and let's gonna get go into it just so it doesn't float there because it can be a little bit buggy on the lift here and dude look at that sweet man we just fixed the cop car awesome let's go to see what mr officer has to say about this hopefully it's a happy man now since you fixed it i want to arrest you i will pay my card awesome dude okay so it doesn't look like i will get arrested today yay man okay he's going to be pay paying my card and boom it went through it went through awesome okay i guess we can just go and hop right back up into our tow truck and see if we can do some more calls but i just gotta fill my tow truck up with some more fuel because we have been out and driving so yeah let's gonna get it fueled up there we go over by rotten robbie's gas station like this is the, just the hands down the best gas station on roblox you can fill up your tank and you don't even have to pay because there's nobody working in here <laughs> and it's just perfect man i really do like it maybe we need to wash the truck as well. Well, I guess we can go in and wash it later on. We don't have to wash it quite yet. So let's gonna drive around the city of Brookhaven and see if we can go in and find some abandoned vehicles because if we do see an abandoned vehicle, we do got our right to tow it away. Oh, dude, what's the horse doing? Yo, why are you, why is the Bruh. horse on the flatbed? Yo, man, what you doing? Are you trying to get your horse towed? I don't know, man. Okay, so let's just go and continue up the street here and dude, I am getting a call and it seems like it's coming from way, way, way over there. Is that by the summer camp? I think it actually might be by the summer camp. No, it's not by the summer camp. It's by this weird thing right by the school. And, dude, we got a burning Ferrari down there. Yo, man, that's insane. Okay, so it seems like we do got a little rescue mission. Anyways, we're gonna shut down this road, though. So, let's gonna go in here and grab some cones. Perfect. And let's gonna cone it up, dude. We just gotta place more cones. There we go. Perfect. And let's gonna get our sign placed. There we go. Please 
in my car. Yeah, I will, sir. Hold on, hold on. So the lane is closed. Perfect. And maybe we need a work light, dude. It's kind of dark down here. So let's gonna place a work light. There we go. And yeah, let's gonna save this car, man. Oh, dude, I'm burning. I completely forgot that the car was actually burning. Yo, dude, I actually sat down while the car was burning. Okay, that was not a good idea. But anyways, let's gonna try and get it out of this little slump right here. Come on, stupid car. You got it. You got it. And boom, dude, we got it up. We got it up. And it's missing only one wheel. So that's at least better than the police Lamborghini that we saved earlier on. There we go. Let's gonna get it backed up on the flatbed. Awesome. And let's gonna get that attached. Boom, dude. Awesome. Okay, let's gonna get our props collected. And let's gonna open up the lane again for traffic. I we just gonna transport this vehicle over to the auto shop. Get it all fixed up. And yeah, then we can go ahead and keep on going with our day. And dude, this car is smoking as well. Dude, there's so many engine problems, man. Why can't I just get an easy repair? And that horse is kind of like illegally parked, dude. Maybe we need to tow the horse away later on. But I'm not really sure if I can actually move the horse. I think you have to be the horse owner to do that. But yeah, we're over here by the auto shop again. Let's go and get this car fixed up. Awesome. Let's go and get it backed up there and get it lifted up. Let's just go ahead and grab a wheel while we're at it. There we go. And let's go and get that attached. We gotta hammer the wheel in. Perfect. And now let's go and screw on the engine a little bit. Get that all fixed up. And boom, dude. Okay, the car is done. Let's go and get it down from the lift. And dude, is that guy a pilot? I didn't even see the pilot outfit. Okay, so this is a pilot, dude. Holy cow. They earn a lot of money, dude. How can you afford a Ferrari like that? I don't know. He got the cash. Let's go to see how much we're going to charge. Okay, sir. That's going to be $19,000. And he just paid me in cash, which I do appreciate. All righty. Have a good one. Enjoy. Thanks. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate it. So there we go. We just got some money. Let's go to go back into the tow truck and keep on going, dude. Awesome. Let's go to drive up towards this neighborhood right here and kind of like look for abandoned vehicles because there's always like abandoned vehicles around here in the city. And those abandoned vehicles will block traffic. And that's not good, man. We're going to have a healthy traffic flow going on here in this city. That's at least what the mayor told me. And I'm just gonna follow whatever the mayor has to say because he's the leader of this city. So I was gonna go over here and dude, is that a bakery, man? Oh, dude, should we buy some bakery stuff? That would have been awesome. Let's gonna see if it's open. The sign says it's open. Uh, let's gonna knock on the door and ring the doorbell because I would love to buy some cake right now, man. That would have been a perfect lunch. And yo, it's nobody actually gonna answer. Dude, you can't open a bakery. At least it can't say that it's open and then it's closed dude that's foul dude you can't be doing me like that oh man i want to cry now and bro i do see an ice cream truck down here but is that owner of the ice cream truck there oh dude i'm getting a call okay so i'm literally getting a call and the owner is inside of the ice cream truck so we don't really have to do anything about that quite yet we just gotta head over to the call and see what's going on yo why are there so many people running in the street use the sidewalks guys bro is the call coming from behind the mountain yo dude is this a bike no, I, is that a snow scooter? I think it's a snow scooter. Why are you using a snow scooter in the middle of the summer, dude? What? I don't know, man. Let's get a little chat with this guy and see what's going on. It just stopped working. Okay, I see. I see you got a turbo on it as well. So maybe it's the turbo's fault, dude. Too much uh, horsepower for a little vehicle like this. But anyways, we can go to get it fixed up. He says it's not working. What should we do then? I guess we can just kind of like shim it onto the flatbed. That could work if the engine really got like a malfunction. So let's gonna try and shim it on. And dude, it's not working. Maybe we need some more speed. Okay, let's go ahead and try with some more speed this time. And let's go, let's go, let's go. And boom, dude. Okay, it wouldn't move, man. Maybe we can actually get it to move just a couple of meters. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now we got it onto the flatbed. Let's go and get it locked on. And dude, is this the first time I actually towing a snow scooter here in Brookhaven? I think so, dude. Not a whole lot of people actually use those vehicles, even though it's really cool. But it's not really snowing a whole lot here in this city. But but yeah, let's just gonna keep on going. And bro, I kind of want an ice cream now, dude. That, yeah, that truck right there is tempting me. Yo, there's two ice cream trucks in the Brookhaven now. What? Okay, it seems like there's a little ice cream competition going on. And bro! The snowmobile just glitched through. No way, dude. Are you serious right now? Where is it? I don't know, bro. It just kind of disappeared. Okay, let's go to see if it can kind of like glitch back. Now my... Yo, dude, my flatbed is all messed up. Okay, now it's fixed again. And bro, the snowmobile is gone. Bro! Yeah, here's some cash, bro. Here's some cash. My bad, my bad. Dude, I didn't mean to 
need to like disappear, dude. I'm so, so, so sorry. Okay, let's just gonna get some cash for the snow scooter. Dude, what happened there? That's probably why nobody drives those things, man. They just glitch all over the place. Holy cow, dude. Okay, anyways, let's gonna see if we can go and find some abandoned vehicles. We do got... Oh, dude, is that a golf cart? Yeah, that's a golf cart. Okay, let's go and actually tow this golf cart right here because it's parked in the middle of the street. We don't have to tow the bike because the bike is on the sidewalk. But the golf cart, dude, that's illegally parked. So let's gonna get it towed. And, dude, I think the owner of the golf cart is actually inside of the postal office. Yo, bye! You just parked your car illegally, so I gotta get it towed. Not my fault, not my fault. Learn how to find a parking spot, bro. Okay, anyways, we're closing into the auto shop. Let's just go ahead and shim it off right over here by the garage here. And, yeah, they can basically pay a fee to come and collect it again. People in this city, man, they gotta learn where to park their vehicles. But anyways, let's gonna see what else we got. You know what? Maybe we actually need to uh, tow the bike as well because it's parked on the sidewalk. I don't know if that's like a legal parking spot, dude. So I was gonna go into the bike and get this one towed as well. And yo, I am getting a call. Let's just go ahead and tow the bike real, real quick and then we're heading over to the caller. And where is the caller coming from? I don't know, man. It seems like it's coming from, yeah, right over my shop, dude. It's right above my shop, man. Okay, let's just go ahead and shimmy the bike off and then head over to the call. Bro, this is such a busy day as a tow truck driver here in this city, but I like it though. It keeps me busy, man. And yeah, if I'm busy, that means money is flowing in. And I do like my money. So let's go ahead and go over here and see what's going on. And bro, how did she flip her car on the head like this? Yo, is she crazy, dude? How fast have you gotten? Dude, dude, I think she actually fell from the mountain. Yo, that's crazy. I don't know what happened. It just flipped. Yo, cars does not just flip, ma'am. You must have been driving like a madman. <laughs> Dude, she's saying it just flipped. Maybe I fell off the mountain. Okay, yeah, you definitely fell off the mountain if your car is flipped like this. Let's gotta get some working lights out, though, because it's kind of dark out and the car is burning. So we gotta get our trusty fire extinguisher and put out the car fire first because this is kind of, like, dangerous. And how should we flip it? I reckon we can actually kind of, like, take our uh, tow truck and flip it down here and hopefully we'll flip. Okay, the fire is out. So, yeah, let's gonna try and push the car off the ledge and hopefully we'll flip that way. I think that should work. I don't know, man. Let's go try it though. We got nothing to lose. And dude, I think it's kind of worked. At least it's kind of like halfway flipped right now. Okay, okay. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and yeah, kind of like push it from here. I don't know, man. It's still kind of, yeah, it's not really there yet. Let's go to get some speed though. Uh, maybe some speed will help and bro. Okay, we're kind of pushing it. Not really working well. Let's go to try and push Push it from the nose of the vehicle, though. Okay, let's go try that again. And yo, is it working? I don't know, man. It's kind of hard pushing this vehicle to go into the correct way again. Gonna try here. And boom, dude, we managed to actually save it. Yo! All righty, well, ma'am, your car is fixed. Yeah! Okay, ma'am, that's gonna cost you $1,000. There we go. She just gave me the money and we saved her vehicle. We put out the car fire. The engine is not smoking and it's good to drive. So let's gonna collect all our working lights. There we go. Nice. We're clearing up the scene. Dude, I had to use like 100% of my brain there, bro. Because you know what? You gotta like learn physics. You gotta try it out. I don't know, dude. It seems kind of hard, but we got it flipped back up to the correct way. And dude, that car is burning, yo. Uh-oh, that car is burning. And the big Baker is dancing over by Club Brooks, but we're gonna solve this burning car going on. Maybe she needs some help, dude. And why is she driving away from me? Uh, excuse me, sir or ma'am. Please stop your car. I'm just gonna try and save it. And dude, where is she going? Yo, stop your car, dude. I'm just gonna try and help you. I don't know, man. Maybe she thinks I'm the FBI or something like that. Chasing her down. And dude, she's driving into the ocean now. Yo, stop, dude. Stop, stop, stop. I'm trying to help. Okay, should we keep on following this car or just give up? I don't know. Okay. Okay, there we go. She stopped. She stopped. Okay, let's gonna get the fire extinguisher and put out the car fire. There we go. The car fire is out. I literally just saved her car. Yeah, there you go. Pay me now, please. I don't know if she's actually gonna pay me or not. She's literally driving off. And now I'm getting another call. And now the car is burning again. Yo, dude, why does it just keep on burning? I don't know, dude. I'm giving up that car. Let's just go ahead and head over to the next call and see what's going on. And where is this call? No, dude. You gotta be joking me, dude. How did you get a car up on the motel roof? Oh, man. What a day, dude. 
Okay, so I think I need to take my tow truck and kind of like drive it onto the roof. And yeah, this is gonna be such a weird call, bro. What am I even doing, bro? I don't know. Okay, let's go and drive it onto the roof. And yo, did it work? Oh, whoa, man. Okay, this is dangerous. Okay, there we go. We got the tow truck onto the roof. Let's go ahead and get the flatbed down. And yeah, we're gonna put out this car fire right here, dude. We got so many burning vehicles. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so let's go and get the taxi up on the flatbed here. Oh, man, it's working. It's working. Okay, let's go to get it locked on. Hop on in, sir. Hop on in. And how am I supposed to get, like, safely off the roof here? You know what? We can kind of, like, drive onto the smaller roof there. And from there, we'll be able to get down. So there we go. Just like this. And, dude, am I stuck now? I think I'm literally stuck. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm getting off. I'm getting off. Yeah, dude, that worked perfectly. Whoa, man. I'm gonna be the best driver Brookhaven has ever seen. Whoa, that was awesome. Yeah, I know, right? Holy cow, dude. I, I'm not really sure where I'm getting this skill from, dude. Dude, I've just been driving in Brookhaven for many, many years. So, I guess this skill just comes naturally at this point. Anyways, let's go ahead and get this car up in the lift. And, yeah, we gotta grab a wheel. It's missing a front uh, front left wheel, I think it was. So, let's go ahead and grab a wheel. Let's gonna hammer that in place. And the car was smoking as well. We gotta get our tools and get up under the engine. And let's gonna fix all the pipes and stuff. And there we go. I think it should be good now. So, let's gonna get the taxi off the lift. And the taxi is looking brand new, bro. A whole lot better better than, uh, yeah, burning on top of the motel roof. So there we go. Awesome work. And let's gonna get our payment. Thanks a lot for the help. Yeah, no worries, dude. $5,000. So he paid me the $5,000 in cash. And yo, that's gonna be an expensive one, sir. I'm sorry, but I had to drive my... Dude, I had to drive my tow truck onto a roof. So that's why it's expensive. Alrighty, guys. That was a really busy day as a tow truck driver here in Brookhaven, but definitely an epic one. And I made a whole lot of money. And that's gonna be it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, make sure to hit the like, subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.